Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Thursday, the 12th of November 2015. And starting off in the basic software, yesterday it uh, was likely to be quiet and it wasn't too bad. We had a range of uh, 100 points, which is what I said yesterday. If we can get 100 points, we can generally get a few points uh, profit out of the market and in particular within the first couple of hours especially when there's no economic news no no one from the fed speaking and it's also uh, a government holiday in the us as well which it was uh, yesterday so we had the sell uh, signal there and then the market moved lower traded through the uh, minor psychological level there of 17,750 down to 17,700 where the market actually stopped and then sent a note out as the market had been quiet through this period to say that uh, there's no point in trading for the remainder of the session the market reversed and went back to where it started but uh, we didn't have a signal in the basic version to move the market uh, back up in uh, this direction and I certainly wasn't interested at this time having picked up 50 points on this trade and then in the evening it uh, the uh, forecast that I uh, sent out seemed to uh, uh, bear out with the market trading sideways uh, two losing signals there and then down back towards the 17,700 so it was just a case of uh, I don't know why the market moved back up to this uh, 17,800 level but uh, it then reversed and then became sideways as I would have expected it to in fact I expected it to say within this 50 point range but for some unknown reason it did move higher but, uh, it doesn't really matter because uh, first trade of the day 50 points uh, banked and that's all that's uh, required really I'm quite happy to do that every day and then a walk away from uh, the desk especially when the it's government holiday in the US there's no economic news because this market is news driven at the moment so we're more than happy before moving on uh, yesterday I received a lot of requests about the parabolic that I actually showed yesterday inside of the basic version of the software so let me just uh, show you uh, where it is what the settings are and how I actually use this. If we go to settings, and this is the settings for the current chart, if you're going to create new charts, you may want to do this in the default settings so that uh, they always remain. If you've already got a chart open, then uh, just go with the active chart and change it to 20, 20, 25. And actually, whilst you're there, just um, click on the default one as well if you want to actually. Um, change the settings here as well so that if you load a new one from scratch you'll remember or the software will remember what the actual settings are so there you go you just uh, do that and then you can go back and in fact if I go back and put the right settings in it's actually 25 there we go so back on the active chart there I've uh, checked the parabolic and then I'm going to click apply and you'll see all of these uh, red and green dots appearing on the chart and for those of you that don't know what uh, a parabolic is it's basically measuring the momentum of the market so the question is how would I actually use this well if I mark up yesterday's uh, trade and we had a sell and red obviously means that uh, the momentum is to the downside and because of the uh, optimize settings that I've uh, worked out over the years you can see that it remains red which is great because it helps psychologically with the trade the markets remaining red in the parabolic and then we get this little green one here so when I see a green one appear it alerts me to the fact that the market's finding some sort of support and the momentum could be shifting doesn't mean to say the market's going to turn and what I will do is watch closely to see if the next bar the high is actually higher than the high of the bar that's got the green signal on sometimes I'll actually use a 50% above this as well and actually use it to start locking in profits as well but of course we're only at the 20 point scalp here as well so what I'm alerted to is that we could see the market turn around a bit I need the market to move lower and then we see the red parabolic return again this again gives you sort of some sort of comfort that the market's starting to move lower However, when you get into this, if you look at the nuances of this, we can see that we've got a red parabolic here and the market is closing higher than the previous bar. So there is still some strength coming in, even though it remains red. So now we see the market drive lower and look what we've got. We've got the psychological level of 
17,700 and a green parabolic. Now the market's moved over 50 points and we've got some sort of strength coming into the market. We have a psychological level. This is the time to start considering taking profits. We go back to red on the parabolic, but we're not actually taking out the lows to the left. The market does this time, but what's important here, even though the parabolic is red, notice that the close of this bar is higher than the close here, and we've got the 17,700 as well. And then you see a switch where we now go green all the way until we get to uh, this one here where the market starts to come back. But again, it's the opposite of what we're seeing here now where we had the one green in the red. Now we've got one red in the uh, switch where we've got uh, the green now dominating. So again, you'll see the market move higher. Let me just remove this. And then we've got that one solitary red one again, but as soon as the market reverses, we go back to green. And then you get this big bar up with the red alerting to you that this could be uh, exhausting. We get green all the way back up to 17,800. And then again, like we had at the bottom here, we've got this one where the close is higher than the previous bars. And now we've got the close lower than the previous bars, even though it's green. So if you look around the psychological levels, you'll see the market switching. You'll see it here. You've got two greens there, but the close is lower than this one that actually penetrated through the actual resistance. And then the market moves lower. And again, the same here. This one's closing below the low of this one, again triggering, and then we get the market moving lower. So that's it uh, in a nutshell. It's, I know it's a bit fast and um, a bit brief, but, uh, you know, rewind it, have a look. And what I'll do when I get five minutes is actually do you uh, a recording on this in more depth. But if you want uh, to have these displayed on the chart, feel free. I mean, like I said yesterday, the basic version you can apply and use all of the tools as you would in the advanced. The only difference is you don't have uh, the numerous uh, different symbols, the triangle, the diamond, the circle. All of these are consolidated. But as, I, as you'll see in the intro of this video as well, the algorithm in the uh, basic charting package is slightly different, so the signals won't match that of the advanced as well. You may get a different signal inside of the, that one as well, because there are a lot more variables in the advanced, and that's why it's the advanced version. But uh, coming back to the parabolic there, it's uh, a great way to actually measure the momentum and also just alert you to the fact that uh, we could start to see a potential turn in the market there. Let's have a look at the overnight, see what we've got. Uh, market uh, just sideways, doesn't know what to do at the moment. There's no direction there at all. In the daily chart, the market's starting to work its way back up. You can see that this week we've been sideways because it's a no news week, basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But today things change. If we click on news, let me just get rid of the markup there, make a bit more room. We've got uh, Draghi speaking. Uh, yesterday he was talking about buying up uh, council debt, uh, of all things, uh, printing more bonds to do that. Interesting to see what he says. He's talking for a couple of hours this morning. And we'll see what the market does. Uh, unemployment from the US. Yellen's out at uh, 2.30 p.m. So don't be in the market for the first uh, half an hour or so because uh, she's uh, going to speak and the market could be all over the place. So be warned, letting you know now. Uh, stay out of the market at 2.30. Uh, any signals for the first half an hour. Frustrating, but uh, better to be safe than sorry. You just don't know what. Uh, she may say that can cause volatility 100 points up 100 points down seen that before and you don't want to uh, do that after uh, making profit so far this week we've got uh, Evan speaking at uh, 3.15 and uh, Haldane's being wheeled out uh, from the UK he's put a proposal forward as well to remove all notes and coins as well just to let you know every so he wants the banking system be to be completely electronic and there is a petition by money week uh, doing the circuit at the moment of which i would advise everybody to uh, sign because uh, the last thing we want to see is cash and uh, was notes and coins uh, disappear there's no benefit in having uh, all electronic if anything happens that's a certain fact dudley speaking and so is fisher as well so uh, again, a lot of uh, news coming out today. 
these two, Haldane and uh, Dudley, are speaking when we go to the quiet session, and then uh, Fisher speaking after the market's closed. So you should be okay for the evening session there. And then finally, in the implied volatility, we've got uh, thirteen thirty for the implied, uh, just up slightly yesterday, and the uh, historic down. And uh, that's it uh, for today. I'm not going to cover the advance today because of uh, time. And uh, I've also uh, covered the uh, parabolic as well. So uh, that won't be uh, looked at today just to uh, keep the time down a bit. Right, that's it. I will see you in tomorrow's uh, edition. It looks like we could have uh, far more volatility today, far more uh, movement as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.